Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts, as I promised, I'm getting up the astrology and Kabbalah of October 2020. I'm sorry, this is a little late. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is the numerology and the Kabbalah, and, and then we will do the astrology, I think, in a separate video. So uh, here we have a beautiful October sky, as it were. Um, a sense of, um, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, a sense of things sort of uh, coming to fruition. This is a natural harvest time. In fact, we start uh, the year, I mean the month, excuse me, with a full harvest moon. And so a lot of October is going to be just that. It's going to be harvesting the seeds planted throughout the year. So let's take a look at this from a perspective of numerology. As we do each month, we look at all the numbers associated with the month and the year and the combination of that. Of course, October 2020, October is the 10th month of the year, and 2020 is a four vibration for universal year. Uh, 14, five, when we add those together. Um, so this month is a 14, five month. Um, the meaning of 10, one, which is October, right? 10. Justice for all, striking out alone, leadership, originality, and initiative, new beginnings. Um, and then, of course, the meaning of four of the 2020 vibration, hard worker, cooperation, harmony, responsibility, firm foundation, and practical. So when we add it all together, we get the 14 over five vibration, which according to Gene from Spiritual Light Vibrations, uh, is magnetic attraction, fortunate and lucky, destroyer and rebuilder. Okay, so there is a transformational element to this vibration. And here we have the 10 1 vibration of October, the fortune card. This, these happen to be, or the wheel of fortune, these happen to be uh, the Toth. I got these from the Toth deck. And uh, the thing I like about the wheel of fortune card in the Toth deck is the sense of of movement. There's a real sense of movement in here and a sense in, in the idea that things are changing. Now things are changing, but it's, it's starting slowly um, as in October, and then it's going to pick up speed. It will pick up speed and move us into the beginning of next year, um, especially once um, Mars goes direct. Of course, that won't happen until um, November, I believe. And then we have the four vibration, which is the emperor. The emperor is about dominion. It's about ruling. Um, it's also a four, so it has to do with practical application and responsibility. Now there are there are certainly people who think they're the emperor, but they don't act like an emperor. They just act like a dictator. A dictator and an emperor is not the same thing. <laughs> okay, although it can be actually. I shouldn't say that. In history, there are often uh, emperors who uh, ultimately became dictators, um, but it is really a vibration of somebody who's willing to do the work. So, and if you've done your work, if you've done your due diligence all year, even if it wasn't the work you thought you were going to do when you started the year, because certainly the year has uh, changed people's um, changed people's direction, quite frankly. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have had to sort of reinvent themselves. So, uh, so there's a lot of reinvention in this year as well. And so if you've been working on that, you will, um, you will gather the fruits of that. 10 is a harvest month. October is a harvest month. Okay. So let's look at the temperance card, because that's the card we're looking at with the 14-5 vibration. So in when you get this in a reading, it can mean moderation. It could also mean healing. There's a healing energy here because we have the, the angel of healing. Um, this is a spiritual initiation. It is a spiritual initiation. Um, it is the energy of tempering steel, as many of you know, or maybe you don't know. If you've ever gone to one of those uh, fairs, um, medieval fairs, if you've ever watched the guy making the sword, um, 
he puts it, um, he puts the metal until it gets red hot. And then he takes a big hammer and he smashes it to, to pieces. And then he plunges it in some cool liquid. And then he starts the process over again. And then he starts the process over again. And every time he folds that steel, every time he goes through the process of superheating, banging it, and then plunging it into the water or the oil, actually, I think it's oil they use. Uh, he's making that steel stronger. And so this month for us, every challenge that we face is actually a challenge that's going to make us stronger, more upright, okay, more aligned, okay. And when we go to the tree of life, we'll see what I mean by the alignment. This is a, this is an energy of alignment as well. Um, in with the temperance card, we have exposure to extremes, uh, yet we are required not to get caught up in them. So we will see them, we will witness them, but we need to put our foot, one foot in front of the other and not get pulled off center. This is the card of righteousness, not self-righteousness, not that stupid religious BS, but righteousness in right action with your soul in right action with your spirit. This is the path of the holy guardian angel. Um, this card is associated with the sign of Sagittarius. Of course, Sagittarius is the truth seeker, right? So truth will come out at this time. And this is also a, a card of alchemy. And we can sort of see the alchemy in this card. This is the Toth card. Um, and we can see that she has uh, fire here and water here. The combination of fire and water is spiritual initiation. The divinatory meaning, and I get this from um, the um, Astrology of the Spirit by Pamela Eakins. The trials and temptations you currently experience will lead you toward the integration, the middle way, the path of moderation through acting in moderation. Your fears are conquered and your purity shines forth. For you are in a period of growth, of stretching yourself spiritually. Through allowing inner growth, you will arrive at a period of profound realization. So we can expect some profound realizations, but we can also expect some challenges. And the more upright we are, the more in alignment with our spirit, the more willingness to be molded and, and pummeled and, and heated up, superheated and, and then plunged into the water uh, as a, as not as punishment, but as a strengthening, um, we can uh, get the most out of this vibration. This and and that, although it sounds somewhat painful, is also a healing. Is also a healing. On the tree of life, the temperance card is located within the middle pillar of transformation. Um, it is, a path, it is on the path that connects to breath, beauty, or the sephirth of the sun, with Yisad, foundation, or sephirth of the moon. This is the path of the mystic that unites our lower self to our higher self. It is the path of the holy guardian angel. This path requires walking a knife's edge as we rise up to higher levels of consciousness and understanding. This path is ruled by the sign of Sagittarius, the truth seeker. It is along this path that you meet your true self. And here we have the tree of life. And there's something I wanna point out on the tree of life. Um, this month, we're in the 14.5 vibration, which is right here. It's right up the middle pillar, con connecting foundation, Yisad, Sphere of the moon with beauty, Tipperet, sphere of the sun. It is in the middle pillar, which is the pillar of the now moment and the pillar of transformation. Last month, um, we were here. We were in a 13-4 vibration. That was the vibration of September. It required us to let go, uh, let go of the past, perhaps. Uh, it connected the present moment with the past. Okay, so not only were we letting go of the past, but we had the ability to access um, 
information and knowledge and energy from our past lives. So, uh, you know, our lives are an accumulation of, of, of experiences. And of course, there's no such thing as past, right? Everything's happening at the same time. But in our awareness, we, can, we associate our other lives with the past um, because right now we're in the now, <laughs> right? But we, can, we could have accessed that energy. Next month, we're gonna move into a 15 vibration. And we're gonna be connecting the, the middle pillar, which is the present moment with the future. So we're creating the future in um, November. This month, we are being in the moment, in the present moment. The mystery revealed on this path, the path of temperance, uh, is a serpent of temptation, is the Holy One, deliverer into liberation. Fire is the great illuminator. Through destruction or trials as if by fire, all that covers or mars internal beauty is burned away. So this is about burning away at the lower self, leaving behind the pure gold illumination of the shining one who is truth unveiled. That's Tippereth. This is a trial by fire that burns away the dross of the lower self, allowing the lower self to be a channel of the perfected spiritual self. So we're not really destroying the lower self, we're purifying the lower, lower self. So there is an aspect of purification in this uh, in this time. So this next um, picture is one that we've I, I use every month actually because it shows us the chakras of involved, and uh, we have the, um, the the sephirith of the moon here, Yisad or foundation, which is connected to the sacral chakra, and then of course we have Tibereth, uh, the sephirith of the sun, beauty associated with the heart. So this path connects our sacral chakra, which is our belly chakra, into our heart chakra. The sacral chakra is a, is a chakra of creativity. It's a, it's a chakra associated with our ability to relate to one another. It is a water chakra and the heart is the air chakra. The path of temperance connects the sacral chakra to the heart chakra and is associated again with the sign of Sagittarius. And here we have a beautiful picture of, I love this uh, sacral chakra, whoever the artist is, doesn't say, and I couldn't find a, um, who the artist was. So I apologize for that. I like to give the artist the credit. So here we have this beautiful orange sacral chakra. Um, it is a chakra associated with water. The sacral chakra or swadasthana, which means sweetness in Sanskrit. The element is here is water. The purpose is um, movement and connection. Color is orange. Issues are movement, sensation, emotion, sexuality, desires, needs, and pleasure. It is located in the lower abdomen and its orientation is self-gratification. So this is where we, we fill ourselves up, so to speak, right? Uh, we become gratified. We have our needs and our desires fulfilled in this place. Uh, the demon here is guilt. Um, we wanna let go of the demons. We don't want the demons to be running the show here. And so if you, if you have a sense of self-gratification or you feel good because you're, you're fulfilling the desires, the natural desires of this place. Um, there is no guilt. We have, we have the right to feel as our basic right here and we have the right to feel pleasure. So in, what, in any way that you can pleasure yourself, uh, or share that is, is a good way to spend um, the, the time this month, which, you know, sounds kind of like, really, we get to do that? <laughs> well, you could do that anytime. Um, but you are activating the chakra. So this may be an issue for you. It could also be because this um, chakra is often 
wounded when people are inappropriate with their sexual energy, whether it's actual physical or uh, emotional or um, even psychological stress in that respect. It all sort of works in the same way. And so issues around uh, intimacy can come up at this time. To be healed, to be healed. So you walk straight ahead, walk straight ahead, put one foot in front of the other and allow the, allow the lower self to be cleansed and purified by the fire of spirit through this process. And of course, we have the heart chakra, the beautiful green chakra, which has this, this seal of Solomon in the center, the star of David, also called the star of David or the Merkaba. It is symbolic of the, uh, the energy moving up, coming together with the energy of moving that moves down. We have uh, fire and water coming together in an initiatory process, the male and the female. Um, oops. Okay, heart chakra is called anahata, meaning unstruck. Unstruck in that um, the sound or the vibration from the heart is from the original expression of the divine manifesting. Um, here on planet Earth, if you want to make a noise, you have to strike two things together. If you want to uh, you know, if you want, if you come to somebody's door and you want them to know you're there, you have to knock. You're wrapping your, 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 your hand against the door creates the noise. If you have a gong or, a, or a bell, it's the striking of the bell against the side, right? That creates the sound. Well, with Anahata, there was no strike. There's just sound, the sound of creation. The element here is air. The purpose, of course, is love and balance. We saw the balance of the masculine and feminine here. We saw the balance of, of water and fire here. This is also part of the initiation process. The color here is green. The issues are love, balance, self-love, relationship, int intimacy, anima, animus. Here we have devotion, reaching out and taking in. So it's about giving and receiving, giving and receiving. My uh, husband and I are going to do another video uh, about his receiving. So keep your eyeballs open for that. I'm going to try to get that done today. Uh, if not today, certainly tomorrow. Um, I think we could all use a good dose of receivings at this time. Um, location is the chest. The orientation here is self-acceptance and the acceptance of others. Really all love to a certain extent is self-love because if you judge yourself, you're bound to judge others and judge not lest you be judged. This is love. This is the place of love and acceptance. The demon here is grief and boy, do we have a lot of grief. We have been grieving all year all year, big time. There's always a certain level of grief. In fact, since Donald Trump got into president, the president, I've been in, in a constant practically state of grief, grieving one thing or another. Um, but as a, as a way of, you know, expelling the demon, right? Um, and the basic right here is to love and be loved. And we all deserve to, to be loved, including Donald Trump, right? All right. Because the path of the temperance card connects the sun to the moon on the tree of life, we look at anything special that is happening with the sun and the moon in October. And I just want to mention this and then we'll get into the astrology in the next video. Um, but October begins with a full moon, a full moon in Aries and ends with a full moon in Taurus. And right in the middle, we have a new moon in Libra. And that new moon is very powerful in that it is making a square to um, Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter, and it's making an opposition to Mars. So lots of very, very strong transformational energy. And if you wanna uh, keep, keep yourself posted on that, 
uh, you can wait for my part two of this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you back here for the astrology. Much love.